Hi guys, James here. So this month's theme is going to be working out without the use of gymnasium equipment. In the first week video, I'm going to be looking at some key tips and cues to prevent shoulder problems in the press up. Let's roll right into the video. So guys, in this first tip we're going to look at the press up exercise and a key issue that can be developed with the press up early on is using too much of the shoulders for leverage. This is a very common issue as when clients initially develop the strength to do the press up they often develop the strength in their shoulders as they have more dexterity in these muscle groups. We can see this start to manifest with the elbow going too high above the shoulder line. And what we'd really prefer is that elbow line to be a little bit below. That way we can get the maximum leverage from the chest and we can develop more strength. Look at how that looks from the side. So the common error that you'll see is as the press up starts, you'll see the elbows flare out to the side and move forward. This will be easier initially for the client to actually get the press up, but they won't be able to develop many repetitions and it could also be risky for the shoulder long term. So what I suggest is to keep the elbow joint down and this alignment means the elbow is now back and behind the wrists. Have a look at how that looks. So here we can get much more leverage from the chest and we can save the elbow position and save the shoulders from working too hard in the press up movement. This way we can develop more strength more effectively and we can have more longevity in the press up exercise. So guys, there we have a key tip in order to prevent injury in the shoulder and actually utilize more of the chest in the press up exercise. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video and if you have any questions, put that in the comment section below and I'll look to answer those questions there. Thanks for watching.